Let me ask you this. Has there been anything that George has told you that he's learned himself along the way throughout the series? Any surprises for George, maybe? I think that he, well, I think he's surprised that, you know, to be honest, how good the show got. Mm-hmm. I think that he didn't know what it meant to have an animated series any more than I did of Star Wars. We were like, are we making this only for kids? Is it like, you know, typical for the other action adventures that we've seen? How do we do, can we pull off dramatic moments? Mm-hmm. Um, I think Ahsoka surprised all of us. You know, Ahsoka started out, and I told Ashley, I said, Ashley, I gotta warn you before we go out there. This is gonna be difficult. The fans are not gonna universally accept you. There are gonna be some that are downright against this. They never thought of Anakin having a pad one. Um, so just, I tried to prepare her for it. You know, and as as nice as she is and kind, she's pretty tough. And yeah. it was, I think it was hard for her a little bit in the beginning when, you know, some people were saying that's ridiculous and she's ruining it. And you know, it's like it's like a bunch of guys and a little girl comes into their treehouse. <laughs> They're like, we don't want you here, you know, but... We're not like that, are we, guys? Uh, I think that we were, and I convinced the team, sorry, that it was okay because we had to fight for it. We had to fight for that acceptance. You guys didn't just like the show because we stuck the name Star Wars on it. You know, we tried to make it better and better. We tried to improve the characters, tried to improve the writing, tried to improve the rendering, the lighting, the animation, the storytelling. And the characters all grew because of that. And I think when you see this celebration and you see, well, A, Ashley is a person and what she's brought to fandom and for girls is unbelievable. Yes, and, you know, Ashley many, Eckstein, right? her universe. I'll yeah. be just sitting somewhere and see a little tiny Ahsoka run by. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> They're all wearing hoodie. those shirts. They're all wearing that. those shirts. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and there, a few minutes ago, there was an Ahsoka standing right over there and now she's gone. But <laughs> there, there are Ahsokas walking around. I mean, it's like, and that's really all due to her and her efforts to not just be great on screen, but to be great off screen. Yeah. And that's something wow. I've talked about from the beginning of this Star Wars experience is, you know, you ask yourself why you like this stuff. You know, you, you love these characters, the way they act, the way they behave, right? But if you're not going out into the world and trying to uphold some of these ideals to the way the Jedi are selfless, the way Luke Skywalker is selfless, the way they put other people before themselves the way they fight for what they believe in at all costs then you are missing the point you know stories were always told to kind of help us identify with ourselves and our lives and the people around us and it doesn't matter what the story is that's what it is when you go home and you tell your wife the story of Star Wars Celebration for you Mm -hmm. you are helping her step into your world and identify who you are and and what your experiences was about that's how we all get closer so you know that's, and that's the, one of the greatest things about Ashley. She embodies it. On mm. screen, off screen, when you meet her, have you ever met her and found her in a bad mood? Never. <laughs> Never. She always has a smile for everybody. Yeah. She, is a, she is tough, and I'll say it again. Of all decisions I made, she was the best. So mm. proud of her. So proud. That's you couldn't amazing. have possibly foreseen what she would do for female fans. No idea. She came up to me in the first year and said, You know, Dave? I don't think there are a lot of clothes for girls out there that are Star Wars. And I'm like, nope, there sure aren't. And that's about the limit of my knowledge on that subject. Right. And as you ask me about anything else, but I don't know much about that. She said, well, I'm going to do something about that. I'm like, okay, that sounds like a lot of work. But if you're up for it, you're going to have to get a license from Lucasfilm and stuff. She's like, okay. Yeah. And then she went away and I thought, well, eh, whatever with that. And then the the topic kind of died away for a while. And then she came back and... She fought to get the license. She said there is a need for this. A lot of people didn't believe her. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't just like, here, we'll take your money, go. Good luck with getting those girls excited about Star Wars. Mm-hmm. They were like, Ashley, we don't even know if you do this, if you're going to get a response. Well, she proves everybody wrong. Right. Yeah. I mean, good for her. Hey, this is Dave Filoni of Star Wars The Clone Wars, and you are listening to Rebel Force Radio with Jason and Jimmy.